Well, developing this morning, there are heavy hearts at the Peach Bowl in Atlanta after a deadly plane crash in Louisiana. A sports reporter who also happened to be the daughter-in-law of Louisiana State University coach playing in that game was killed. As CBS 4's David Begner reports, four others lost their lives, including a 15-year-old boy. Everyone on board the plane was headed to the LSU game in Atlanta. In fact, one of the people who died in the plane crash, Carly McCord, her father-in-law is Steve Ensminger. He is the offensive coordinator for LSU, and there are pictures of players consoling him before the game started. Uh, Carly McCord was a sports reporter in New Orleans, did work for a local TV station and the New Orleans Saints. The other passengers who died in the crash have been identified as Ian Biggs, the pilot, Vaughn Chris II, Gretchen Vincent, and her son Michael Walker Vincent. Let me tell you what eyewitnesses told us. The plane had just taken off from the Lafayette Airport, was only a mile away, and the pilot clipped that power line right there. The plane went down in the parking lot of that post office, actually hit a lady who was in her vehicle. The vehicle caught fire, seriously injuring the lady, and the fuselage continued into a field. This is eyewitness video that was recorded by Alexis West, who told us what she saw. And it just skidded on the concrete at the post office, and, and then it just went by, and then all of a sudden just this big explosion. It was just like an action movie. It just like happened so fast. Miss West actually saw the sole survivor walking away from the aircraft. Listen. Somebody grabbed him from the fire and pulled him out and sat him in the ground. He was burned from his shoulder all the way down, like his shirt, his clothing, everything was ripped. The man she's talking about is Wade Burzis. He's listed in critical condition tonight at a local hospital. It was not raining when the crash happened, but it was foggy in the area and there was a pretty thick cloud cover. The National Transportation Safety Board is going to take over this investigation. They are on their way to Lafayette and expected to arrive sometime late Saturday night. David Begno, CBS News, Lafayette, Louisiana. The Lafayette Fire Chief says three other people who were not passengers were injured and a busy Walmart in the area was also evacuated as a precaution.